look at what we got. We got so much hay here, it's unbelievable. So let's see how this is done. Look at this truck. This is a hay truck. This is a hay truck. This is how it's unloaded. Look at that. Wow. And that's how he stands it up and stacks it. Jeez. This is an American Eagle hay stacker truck. Basically, it's a giant forklift that lays down. Look at that. Okay, now that we saw that and my camera's filthy dirty and we just walked in the dust storm, we are headed to the other side of Albuquerque to pick up a 1973 Chevy truck A. That's why we're out here. So let's go ahead and look at this machine. This is the machine that he used to use. So this is the machine he used to use to load hay with. I got the other one over there. Now how does this machine work? Come on over here, farmer. Yeah, the load, load rack falls down, and your little bales are on, on, on the quarter end, quarter <sighs> turn. Loads them here, three bales. Trips it on that lever there, puts the three bales up here. And it loads 18, and then once you get towards the, the last of the 18... Stands them up and slides and then, them and down. Then, and then you hit that... You hit that that bar sticking up and automatically flips it back to the rack over here and that rack over there the inner rack slides up so it's just load rack and then you wow. have 100, 160 bills so you're still using this yeah i gotta i gotta put them so you the still use this type of machine yeah for the little bills so what were you doing for the big bales before the old-fashioned way hell the front end loader, 12 bales, and load them on that gooseneck trailer and then bring on them in. On an 18-wheeler trailer and then you'd unload them? No, the gooseneck trailer. Wow. It takes too long. Too long. Jeez. I mean, I can, lo I can load this machine in about 10 minutes. Oh, my gosh. And I come and unload and then go back again. It works same, same like this one, this bill wagon. Similar, same, but except it's for big bills. Okay, up ahead of us is Farmer Paul. 
we're heading over to the hay field to actually film him um, grappling hay with this truck. Now he said he can load that whole truck in less than 10 minutes. Now we are actually headed to get a 73 Chevy 3 quarter ton truck, but we thought we'd stop over here, say hi to Polly, and uh, watch him in action to show everybody what a true redneck really is. This is authentic redneck action here. This isn't Arkansas slang, redneck, you know, white trash, redneck, okay? Uh, words are misconfused. That's how that's how words get changed. People use the word as a comical act and change it from one angle to another. Redneck was actually a person that went out in the fields, worked his ass off, and and his neck was red. His shoulders were red from working hard every day. So that's what this guy is. He's a redneck real true redneck. So we're going to go over there and see what Mr. Redneck's doing. Does that make any sense? Yes, perfect sense. Now, see, when I was a little kid, uh, hard workers would be called rednecks because they'd have the sun beating down on their necks and their necks would be red, beat red from the sun. Uh -huh. Would you say this guy's kind of like that? Yeah, he's definitely a hard worker. Leather skin Paul, huh? So we're almost there. He said it takes five minutes to get to this field. You saw all the hay. You saw what he does for a living. He's been out there in the field since 4 o'clock this morning loading hay and bringing it back to his house. He said he's been out there doing this since 4 o'clock this morning. So let's see what happens. field we're gonna get a couple of these bales and show you how this thing works so here he comes he's gonna get this bale look at this look at this right here
and that's how it's done. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve giant bales of hay in less than ten minutes. That was that made it look easy, redneck. Yes, sir. So are you are you an authentic redneck? No. Would you I'm, consider I'm, yourself I'm, I'm, authentic? Look at, that, look at that redneck. I see it. Shit. I see that neck. I look like you now. I You're see old. that neck. I'm fucking. I'm I'm, I'm redder. I'm redder neck. than the redskins over here, the Indians. How long does it take to get all the hay out of the field with that truck from start to finish? Uh, a good day. Two Depending. days. A good day. One good day. I did that half yesterday afternoon, and then. Just this half here, a few hours, you know. Now I saw there was a bale out there that was broke. What do you do with that? I'll I'll, re, I'll spread it out and rerun it to the So you just it. spread it out yeah. and re, 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 rerun rebel it. Rebel it, rebel it. Well, you got a nice machine there, bud. I, I bet every farmer wishes they had one of these, huh? Yeah, one man operation. The redneck operation, right there, guys. Now, what's the name of this machine? American Eagle builds it. What is the name of it, though? It's just a... It's a... A hay baler? No, it's hay a... Hay hauler. A grabber, a grapple. A, gra a hay grappler. Yeah. By American Eagle. American Eagle's a manufacturer that build, builds the, the back end of this truck. Wow. They get the, the trucks used, and then they cut them and stretch them, and they make all of the components. Now, is this a popular item in the hay industry? There's, there's a few other ones out uh -huh. there, different brands. Is this the only one you got, or you got more no, than one? No, the only one I got like this. Uh, have you ever had any problems breaking down? or? Knock on wood. No guys. hydraulics, no mm. nothing breaking down, knock, no grappling? Knock on wood, no. Yeah. Very interesting but, but machine. But if this machine goes down, I'm, what do they call that, SOL? Shit out of SOL, luck. bud. Uh, you got a lot of hay on your property. You got hay left from last year. Yeah. You better get on the ball and start selling it, buddy. Get on the ball. Start selling that hay. It's a hay day over here, guys, with the American Eagle redneck farmer that we call Paul. fellow citizens, more than mine, will rest the final success or failure of our course. Since this country was founded, each generation of Americans has been summoned to give testimony to its national loyalty. Not as a call to battle, though in battle we are, but a call to bear the burden of a long twilight struggle, year in and year out, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, a struggle against the common enemies of man, tyranny, poverty, disease, and war itself. Can we forge against these enemies a grand and global alliance and assure a more fruitful life for all mankind. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man.
Finally, whether you are citizens of America or citizens of the world, ask of us here the same high standards of strength and sacrifice which we ask of you. With a good conscience, our only sure reward, with history the final judge of our deeds, let us go forth to lead the land we love, asking his blessing and his help, but knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own. Thank <laughs> you.